Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakurash. And double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. The name of the Most High God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is Yahweh. All right, it means He, all right, exists, He to be, He is. All right, Yah is He. All right, Hawa, all right, to exist, to live. All right, He is. All right, Bahashem in the name. All right, of Yahweh Shai, the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, all right, our mediator, our high priest in the heavens, and our way back to the Father in these latter days via the Holy Spirit, all right, which through his sacrifice, through his blood, all right, ultimately the elect will be covered, all right, and receive the Holy Spirit of promise so that they can offer up the right sacrifice, all right, which was foreordained. So that we can be accepted in the beloved and partake of the divine nature, which upon his return, he will gather his elect from the four corners of the earth. All right. And that elect. All right. Is going to consist of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. But you have to understand our people have been scattered. So there are people who identify with many cultures, nationalities. All right. And um, look different. But ultimately, they all have one thing in common. All right. They are the seed of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, who had 12 sons. All right. And a promise will be fulfilled that ultimately Abraham's seed will be heirs to the promised land. All right. Which you have a group of people right now in that land claiming that they have fulfilled that promise and they're getting little or no kickback from the world. All right. But the truth of the matter all right, has um, stood in their face in the earth and, uh, you know, fact that the Lord has sent his holy prophets, okay, to bring out the truth of the matter, all right, and we'll get into those things either in this episode or in another, but um, as you can see, this is another news and prophecy where we're linking the things that are happening, all right, happening worldwide throughout the four corners of the earth, we're linking those things to the holy scriptures, all right, so that the elect can know what times that they're in so that you can be comforted. All right, as many tests are coming down the pipe. All right, you want to know and understand, okay, what's at stake. All right, and how to operate as the elect will not bow the knee to the image of Baal. Okay, and that's what's being, you know, um, set up in the planet Earth. Now, as Yahweh Shai says here, the parable of the fig tree, Matthew 24 and 32. Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, you know that summer is nigh. All right. So there, there's things you can observe in nature to know the times you're in. All right. Well, spiritually. Right. As he says here. So likewise, Ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is even near, even at the doors. Okay, verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Now we know that generation of, uh, you know, people in the earth at that time, you know, the Israelites that rejected Yahweh Shai, okay, they died. We know that they passed on, but this proves that that generation is back here in the earth today. As well as those who stood stiffly for the name of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and ultimately were put to death, all right, for standing for righteousness sake, not bowing the knee back then, all right, they are here back in the earth and this time to receive a reward, as well as those who rejected him, all right, they're back in the earth to receive a judgment, all right, and the, um, ultimately, which is going to be fulfilled in a uh, great destruction, man which they will pay now. Again, when you see all these things, you know that it's even at the doors. And uh, as you see, I have this video queued up here, which YouTube has kind of changed as a black platform. This is a uh, Christian YouTube page. All right. But a lot of these Christians know, okay, that the uh, mark of the beast system is being set up in the planet earth we're just going to show you where they stray and go off okay but the name of this video is welcome to the cashless economy the stage is set 
all right, for the new world leader, all right, and along with artificial intelligence and many other miracles, these devils are building a digital hub, all right, which many nations and their elites have, uh, you know, joined with them, but we know that they don't all agree, okay, and this is off of a page called Grace for Purpose, all right, and this is a Christian now. Let's check out this video, and we're going to show you that, as the scriptures say, all right, his own tongue is going to fall on himself, all right? You now have many Christians and many Edomites and other heathen, all right, are um, bringing out the fact that this system that we see being implemented in the earth is in line with the system prophesied in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, where our forefather, John the Revelator was given a vision while on the Isle of Patmos all right, of the things that would take place before the kingdom of heaven would be set up. So the reason we do all of these videos going into the MOTB system is for ultimately your comfort in understanding the things that are happening around you. OK, they're not talking about a cashless society for no other reason than for, to fulfill biblical prophecy. As you have many Israelites of the opinion all right, that what we see happening in the form of this cashless, all right, society they're trying to form, central bank digital currencies, all right, digital ID, all right, the talk of, you know, surveilling people under their skin, the talk of, uh, you know, micro C-hips. They say that has nothing to do with the Bible. I don't know if they're paid off or ultimately the Heavenly Father has just blinded them or ultimately they're just trying to separate themselves from you know, us, because this is what we focus on. But ultimately, they're setting you Israelites up for the okie doke. But as you're going to see here, even Christians know what's going on because, of course, they're watching. Again, when we first came onto the YouTube, Christians weren't talking like this. You see, but as the scriptures say in the book of Joel, the second chapter. OK, the promise of the spirit. Joel 2 and 28, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. All right. So things are happening. All right. And certain revelations are being given to even regular everyday people who don't believe the truth as it is, uh, you know, supposed to be spoken. They may say they believe the Bible, but, you know, they have all kind of, you know, differences of opinions that aren't in line with the truth. But the Lord has put a spirit on them to bring things out. See? So the spirit has been poured upon all flesh. All right. Putin's in the spirit. OK, there's many people in the spirit of fulfilling things that are written. Right. But the prophets are operating in the Holy Spirit. See, there's a difference between, you know, again, you know, everything that's happened is fulfilling prophecy. But the Holy Spirit has been given unto the prophets. All right. To ultimately break these things down. All right. And sincerity and truth. So it says in your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. OK. And that's of the elect of the nation of Israel. OK. And you have the men of the Lord prophesying. You have particular sisters receiving revelations and dreams. OK. Those are prophecies. If a, if a, if a woman ultimately has a dream of the chariots coming, if a woman has a dream of destruction or, or martial law, She's received the prophecy. Does that mean that she is supposed to go out on the highways and the byways and have the lot of a prophet? No. All right. But again, your sons and your daughters shall prophecy. So you have particular women receiving visions. OK, sharing them with the church, you know, and it's all comforting. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions also upon the servants of the handmaids. In those days will I pour out my spirit. See, so ultimately, as the scriptures say in uh, Sirach 36, let's get that real quick. Sirach, the 36th chapter. In the uh, 14 verse, it says, fill Sion, all right, which is another name for Israel. With thine unspeakable oracles, an oracle is ultimately a, a prophecy or, all right, divine uh, a revelation, meaning the heavenly father through his only begotten son has opened up, 
all right, understanding to one. So the Lord says, fill Sion, which is the remnant, the elect, with thine unspeakable oracles, and fill thy people with thy glory. See? And Sion or Zion means monument, right? Something to remember, and the Lord has remembered us. It could also mean a parched place. And what do you do with a parched place? You pour water upon it. So the Lord has poured water upon the elect in the form of the Holy Spirit in these latter days. All right. By doing what? Giving testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raising up prophets that have been in thy name. All right. Reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. So the prophets are going to be found faithful. All right. Speak thou into the ears of my people the words of prophecy. All right. And the prophets should be faithful and giving you the understanding of all of these things that are happening around you. So without further ado, let's uh, play some of this video. We're not going to play the whole thing, but um, as you can see, the title of this video, Welcome to the Cashless Economy, the stage is set for a new world leader. And this is what's upon the horizon. Hi, I'd like to withdraw some cash, please. Unfortunately, that won't be possible today, <clears throat> sir. Why not? It's my money. You are no longer permitted to withdraw cash since you signed up to a digital wallet. However, you can make any purchase you wish via your card or any other form of... And we, we showed you that the digital ID system is being set up in New York. Okay, the, the, the EU has their digital ID system ready. Okay, and they're saying by, what, 2026, all right, it's going to be full blown, all right, which, again... All it takes is some type of event, all right, black swan event, some sort of any type of pandemic, anything where they can say we need to get this in place now, okay? And that's how you're going to identify yourself in the new world. Again, as um, we're going to get into, facial scans on this digital ID will be the future of detecting, all right, dis-ease, all right. And all disease or disease means is not dis ease, not at ease. All right. So ultimately, when things get so bad, you're going to have to register in this digital system. All right. So that they can know what you have and what you don't have, what you've taken or if you're one of us or if you're one of them or whatever it may be. All right. And this is how you're going to be identified. And they're setting this system up. Now, we'll tap into this. All right. But just know that these devils, all right, uh, got something on the horizon. Okay, they had a international, all right, bee flu uh, summit in Washington, D.C., or they're having one, all right, and they're going to discuss, all right, how to manage it and plan for what they're going to do, all right? And we'll get into that, but just know that they are setting up a digital system, okay? As even your children in certain school districts are now having to scan barcodes, gradually leading you into the system of the MOTB. Malls are introducing new facial recognition, all right, to ultimately track people so that they don't steal. This is going to be the solution, all right, in the world to come to all of the problems that this world has created, which we know they were all created on purpose digital payment well <laughs> i'd like to have some cash please so give me my money that's not possible sir security that'll be now if you notice these banks are all shut down shutting down and this is where it's going okay ain't gonna be no physical cash to get out of the bank that's the old way that's why on the back of your dollar bill all right it lets you know nuvos all right uh, uh, well, a new conceptive announcing the the uh, conception. Or we have been granted, all right, the uh, authority to announce the coming or birth of a nuvos ordo seclorum, a new secular age, a new world. Okay, and they purposely put that on the back of the dollar because the old world goes out with the old way of buying and selling, and a new way of buying and selling is on the horizon. Hi, I'd like to withdraw some cash, please. Unfortunately, that won't be possible today, sir. Why not? It's my money. You are no longer permitted to withdraw cash since you signed up to a digital wallet. 
However, you can make any purchase you wish via your card or any other form of digital payment. Well, <laughs> I'd like to have some cash, please, so give me my money. That's not possible, sir. Security? That'll be $140 today. There you go. I'm sorry, sir. We don't accept cash. That's all I have, so here you are. I'm sorry. We can only take payment through your card or any digital payment. Well, what do you expect me to do? This is legal tender. How can you not accept cash when it's all I have? I'm afraid you're going to have to leave, sir. Security? Well, I can see here that you have great experience, and we really think you can add something to the company. Thank you. I'm really eager for the opportunity to work at an organization like this. Yes, well, we'd really like to get you on board. So let's sort out a few HR issues. Can you just fill out this form? We need your digital ID number here your digital wallet number here, and a few more details here. I... I don't have a digital ID or wallet. Can I just put my normal bank details? See? That old way of life is over. This is the new world that they're going to enter you into. All right? And you're going to have to have a digital ID. This is how you're going to be identified. You're no longer going to need an ID to walk around with. You're no longer going to need a social security number. You're going to have a digital ID number and it'll have all of your history of what you look at online, who you are. All right. If you've taken the juice or not. OK, your views. OK, and eventually this will be linked. All right. To a brain or hand chip. All right. That will be your only way to live on the planet Earth in the new world that they are creating. OK, and they're going to present this system as what? Peace and safety. This is what we see being set up, right? Sorry. And you, you won't even be able to get on the internet, okay? All of the online terrorism that they're, they're crying about. Well, in the new world, that'll be taken care of, all right, by all right, uh, this, this digital ID system, which will ultimately give them the authority, all right, to cut out those who mean bad for us okay this is where we are let's go all right uh we, we'll need your digital id for us to offer you the position officially but i don't want to have a digital wallet i've got a normal bank account hmm. and I'm, I'm sorry we we can't offer you the job the following is a biblical perspective on world events Something is going on in the banking sector. Let's take a look. Cash will soon be obsolete. Will America be ready? To keep their money relevant, many central banks are experimenting with digital versions of their currencies. And again, you cannot tell us that this has nothing to do with what's written here. All right. In Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. And again, by you taking this mark, you are putting his name on you. You are being what? Recreated in his image. OK, by the time he is said and done, many. All right. will be, you know, back in the spirit world. All right. And the little bit of people that he has on the earth. All right. Will be forced into this system, which, of course, is a stupid plan. I think a lot of you think that we're we're, we're saying that this is a great plan. No, it's stupid. But also it's, it's also stupid to pollute the air, to pollute the water, to molest. All right. Uh, babies and do all of the wicked things that this devil does. Torture animals. Use them, you know, as a, a experiment subjects. For his, his technology, all of the things, everything he does is stupid. Okay? So you can't expect his plan for world domination to be, you know, uh, you know, some great idea. It's absolutely stupid. Now, in wickedness, all right, it's, it's, it's great, all right? But again, this man is not, he's not righteous. He's not upright. That's why it says in the book of Habakkuk, behold, the soul of this man which is lifted up in him is not upright. So the just are going to have to live by faith. Okay. And again, this system will give him the ability to know when you've been sleeping, know when you've been awake, know when you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. 
All right, because Santa was really talking about Satan. And Satan's kingdom is being set up in the planet Earth. Now, the Lord is using a nation of people to do that. And that's the biblical Edomites, which this is where these Christians go left, as you're going to see. All right. But they are right about what's on the horizon. OK. Uh, a, a, a new way of buying and selling is being set up, and that's going to be the way they lure all right, the majority of the people into that system because people want comforts, okay? These currencies are virtual, like Bitcoin. But unlike Bitcoin, which is a private enterprise, they are issued by the state and function much like traditional currencies. China, Japan, and Sweden have begun trials of central bank digital currency. The Bank of England and the European Central Bank are preparing their own trials. The Bahamas has already rolled out the world's first official digital currency charted America's shift to a cashless society. While no country today has fully reached the concept, there are some like China and South Korea that have seen widespread adoption of mobile payment platforms and digital wallets. Now remember that Revelation 13 verse 17 says, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. When the Antichrist appears, he will be interested in controlling your money. Imagine this. One day, the Antichrist holds a meeting with his demonic group of counselors, and they brainstorm. Now, this is where these Christians go wrong. All right. They're talking about some Antichrist as if some Antichrist. All right. Which means against the anointed is just going to pop up. All right. And, and lead the world. No, the biblical Edomites pursuant to prophecy. OK. When you get Isaiah, the 47 chapter. Okay, let's get that real quick. Okay, the the uh, the kingdom, all right, that is at the forefront of all of this evil and wickedness in the earth is Babylon the Great. Okay, which ultimately is a revival of Rome along with the NATO and the EU, which <clears throat> we're living in a time where that's being what separated. It's all it's all, it's all being divided now. When you go here, okay, who runs this modern day Babylon pursuant to the scriptures? Okay, let's get the book of uh, Psalms. Okay. I believe it's Psalms. Uh, what was it? Psalms 130. Uh, yep. Psalms 137. All right. When you read the book of uh, Revelation, the 18th chapter, okay, there is a kingdom, all right, that is ultimately going to be responsible for pushing all of this confusion in the planet Earth, all right? But the bottom line is that there is a nation of people, see, that run this kingdom, that run this modern-day Babylon, that's going to be responsible, okay, for pushing the MOTB upon the people, all right? This is the book. Of Psalms 137 and 7, remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. OK, and they did that, you know, at the time that the Babylonians raided the temple. OK, they helped them. But over the years, they have been responsible for trying to erase us as a nation. Right. It says, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. OK, so again, the Edomites are linked to this daughter of Babylon, right? As he's talking about the Antichrist meeting on how they're going to ultimately get this, 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 you know, chip implemented. OK, Isaiah 47. All right. Which talks about what Isaiah 47 and one come down and sit in the dust. O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne O daughter of the Chaldeans. Now, Christians don't know how to go into these prophecies and break them down, okay, because this is the daughter of the Chaldeans. This is the daughter of Babylon. This is the final, all right, captivity of the Israelites, and this is the last rulership of the heathen, all right? Pursuing the Daniel, the seventh chapter, all right, the revival of the fourth beast would be the final kingdom, all right, that would implement the MOTB, all right? And Revelation, the 13th chapter, gives you insight, okay, into that fourth beast 
and the, the revival of it. You see? So ultimately, this is the daughter of the Chaldeans, which were ultimately responsible for all of the, the, the you know, the magic and the evils and the uh, satanic, all right, uh, rituals and things that ran, all right, the ancient Babel, all right, but the ancient Neo-Babylonian Empire. You had the Chaldeans, all right, which were the wise men of that time. Now the wise men of this time are the witches and warlocks that rule this world. OK, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and governors of this world. We know a few of them by name. All right. The Red Shield family. Right. Or Rothschild. But ultimately, all right, they, they operate and have operated in secret. But we're living in a time where the man of sin, he who comes to do the bidding of Satan is being revealed. And we can't just call him the Antichrist because that puts this mythological character, all right, uh, you know, into play where he just pops up. Some say it's Trump. Some say it's Obama. Some say it's the, the Pope. Some say no. OK, when you deal real quick with the Antichrist. Here in First uh, John, where it's brought up. OK, the Antichrist is those who were denying Yahweh Shai at that time. Let's get it real quick. All right. First John 2 and 18. Little children, it is the last time, and ye have heard that the anti-Messiah shall come. Even now there are many antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time, and we're living in a very, very ungodly, you know, uh, society. You know, there's so much denial of the Messiah. Yes, we are living in that time. All right. But see what these Christians like to do is they like to detach biblical nationalities from. All right. Uh, kingdoms. See, kingdoms are going to be taken down and the kingdom that's going to be taken down by the most high through his son. All right. When he returns is Babylon the Great, along with this beast system, which there's a nation of people. All right. That rule that you can't just put it on the Antichrist. No, it's talking about the biblical Edomites. OK. But here. First John two and 19, they went out from us, but they were not of us, for if they had been of us, they would in no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. See, so this is speaking of men who came amongst the church. All right. And as Jude breaks down all right they crept in unawares okay but you have an unction from the holy one and you know all things meaning the church of yahweh shah is going to be breaking it down the correct way i have now written i have not written unto you because you know not the truth but because you know it and that no lies of the truth who is a liar but he that denieth yahweh shah is the messiah he is anti-messiah that denied the father and the son all right so ultimately, there's two aspects to this. All right. The anti Messiah was those wicked Israelites that were operating. All right. In, in rebellion to the church. But you also have those who deny the father and the son. And this system is heavy on that. OK, they have set up a system that ultimately their miracles. All right. And, you know, their science is to be looked at as God, not. All right. The heavenly father through his only begotten son. They're telling you, all right, that the son of the most high is fake news. They're openly declaring we don't need him anymore. That's an old way. We have a new way. We can create our own water. We're no longer in fear of a, of a you know, of a flood or, a, you know, a drought. So they're boasting themselves in some very, very evil things. Right. So in that aspect, they are anti-messiah along with the nations that are joined unto them okay that's why the scriptures say why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing all right first john four and three every spirit that confess it that yahweh shai is coming um confess it not that yahweh shai is coming to flesh is not of the most high and this is that spirit of the anti-messiah so that's another aspect of it all right but they're presenting when they talk about the anti christ or the anti-messiah all right some people are looking for one man to show up and he's going to be responsible for bringing the mark of the beast he's going to be no 
okay? Ultimately, it's the elites of this world, all right, headed by the elites of Esau, Edom, all right, which is fulfilled in those small hats, okay? Second John 1 and 7, for many deceivers are entered into the world who confess it not that Yahweh Shah is coming to flesh. This is deceiver and the anti-Messiah. So a lot of those wicked Israelites back then were saying that Yahweh Shah didn't fulfill all right, the coming of the Son of the Most High. That all they did was give him hell back then. So that was a spirit that was, uh, you know, around, you know, back then that basically was saying that Yahweh Shai wasn't the Son of the Most High. The, the Messiah hadn't come yet. All right, he wasn't him. That was the spirit of the anti Messiah. Okay, now in this world today, we do see a large rebellion, all right, against the Most High and against his Son. All right, but the way that they present the Antichrist, let's go back and let's listen to it again. Payment platforms and digital wallets. Now, remember that Revelation 13, verse 17 says, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. When the Antichrist appears, he will... See, they're, they're presenting the Antichrist as this one particular person. Now, they're right on how they would look, <laughs> all right? Although you have, you know, hey, uh, you know, you have many people doing the bidding of Satan of all different nationalities. But again, the kingdom that will be in rulership before the Lord returns will be ran by Edomites. Let's get Obadiah, the first chapter, or Obadiah, as it is one chapter in the last verse. And Savior shall come up on the Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. See? So Esau is directly tied, as we were reading, okay, in Psalms 137. All right, the children of Edom are going to pay for everything that they've done through the, the daughter of Babylon being destroyed. Okay? And the daughter of Babylon, okay, is a fulfillment of the last kingdom that will rule in this world. Okay? Now, this is Daniel chapter 7 and 7 and after this in the night visions and behold a fourth beast dreadful and terrible strong exceedingly and it had great iron teeth and it devoured and break in pieces and stamped the residue of the feet of it and was diverse from all of the beasts that were before it and it had ten horns this is speaking of the Roman Empire okay the the the, the military might okay their their uh their senate and how they brought in their rulers through voting OK, it was different. All right. And the ten horns represents the the uh, the vassals, you know, the Lombardis, the Visigoths and so forth, the Suevis. And today that's fulfilled in the EU. Right. Which ultimately makes it a beast system. All right. Because Rome was an idea and an ideology as well that traveled far. All right. And they had particular nations that were subordinate to them. All right. That ultimately helped them fight wars and to do their bidding okay this is how they were able to conquer so far out all right so this is speaking of rome and then it says and i considered the horns and behold there came up among them another little horn which this is talking about america now all of these kingdoms all of these beasts all right are ruled by nations of people okay and this one is no different OK, this little horn. All right. Before him, whom were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots that goes into the Revolutionary Wars, the Spanish, the French, the British. And then the 13 colonies were established, which we just came out of the independence of America. Well, that's scriptural. All right. On July 4th, America's independence was prophesied right here in the Bible. OK, through those Revolutionary Wars. Ultimately, America was able to revolt from under the oppression of the British, which, you know, America is still technically ran by the British. But they was able to establish the 13 colonies. All right. Which eventually will be acknowledged by Morocco as a true country. And then eventually. All right. Through the rest of their wickedness, they would establish the 50 United States, which they stole. OK. 
So ultimately, this little horn symbolizes the final kingdom that will rule, and that will be ruled by Edomites, just as the fourth beast was ruled by Edomites, just as the third beast was ruled by Edomites, which is the Greeks. This was the beginning of their system. Okay? So I beheld in this horn with the eyes like the eyes of a man and a mouth speaking great things. He's just a man, but his science and the things that he would boast in would be crazy. And this is what we're seeing. OK, because, again, this fourth beast. All right. Is expounded on. All right. The little horn that issued forth from the fourth beast is expounded on here in Revelation, the 13th chapter. All right. Revelation 13, 11, I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon. This is where we are right now. This is America. OK, they're a bipartisan system, but ultimately he would ultimately exercise the power of Rome. All right. Whose deadly wound was healed through the Renaissance and he would do it. Great wonders, his military might. All right. And he would deceive people on the earth by the miracles which he would have power to do, which the heavenly father gave him this power. So it's not just an antichrist. It's the Edomites. As Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So Christians like to talk about well, the, the downfall of this kingdom and God's kingdom coming, but they never want to associate it with Jacob and Esau. Will be interested in controlling your money. Imagine this. One day the Antichrist holds a meeting with his demonic group of counsel. So the Antichrist is just going to hold a meeting. All right. With this demonic group of counselors. Now, that's biblical. But that's talking about the elites of this world. And there there's a nation of people at the forefront of that. OK. Isaiah 47 and 12, speaking to the daughter of Babylon, right? Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, which is witchcraft, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth, man. This is how he got to where he is through these left hand demonic means. OK. If so, thou shalt be able to profit. If so, thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. All right. Let now the astrologers, stargazers and monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. So they are wearied in the multitude of these meetings that they're having. OK, on how they're going to ultimately get this NWO popped off and, you know, stamped and approved. All right. And, and, and going. All right. All the advice you received has made you tired. Where are your astrologers, your stargazers? And, and again, we just showed you. That they're planning on having a meeting in October. On how to do, how they're going to, you know, uh, uh, get this. You know, thing popped off because they're going to need another event again what gave them the ability to establish all of this technology in the first place into the earth this digital system well it was the the ovid in 2020 from there you see more talks of digital currencies digital system digital id all of that so again another event like that will give them to the power okay to ultimately stamp it okay and they want godlike power that's what this this device is going to give them. And they brainstorm. How best can we get people to pledge allegiance to us? How best can we get people to take the mark and give us their souls? One of the counselors says, control their money. Humans love comfort. They want to buy homes. They want to buy food. They want to drive cars. These are the things that make most people happy. The meeting erupts with applause. Great idea. The Antichrist says, we control their money. We control their heart's desires. Now, here's an article titled, Are We Really Headed for a Cashless Society? See, if we control their money, we control their heart's desire. And they are going to use this system to draw you in, all right, to bow the knee, all right? Because if you take that mark, ultimately, you're acknowledging them, you're acknowledging them as your God. You're making an oath with Satan, Okay. A cashless society is one where all physical money, cash and coins is totally replaced by digital currency. 
Now, this article talks about the good and bad when it comes to central bank digital currencies. Just consider the following points which are brought up. Privacy is also a big concern for a CBDC because the government would know how you spend your digital dollars. The worry is that if the government holds your money and knows how you spend it, the government could also restrict your spending or could decide to take your money. Dear listener, the Bible says the spirit of the Antichrist is already at work in this world. Now, do you not think there are structures that are already being put in place that would enable him to take over and enforce the mark of the beast on the world? Many people underestimate the amount of pressure they'll face when this evil man takes center stage. He's already taken center stage. Again, and then shall that wicked be revealed. All right, let's get that. Okay, you should clearly see who it is. Okay? But see, Christianity detaches nations and races of people. All right, uh, you know, that to them that's, you know, racism and this and that. All right, well... <laughs> nations of people all right which have biblical nationalities are at the forefront of this okay the heathen and ultimately their goal all right the goal of these 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 elites is to get the birthright back and to ultimately undermine the heavenly father's plan for his son to reign on the planet earth second thessalonians 2 and 8 and then shall that wicked be revealed before the end came, the wicked would be revealed. Who are the wicked? According to the Bible, the Edomites, the border of wickedness is what they're called. All right. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Again, when we were reading Daniel, the seventh chapter, it is through this little horn that issue forth from the fourth beast. All right. That the Lord sets a judgment. OK, and this system will be responsible all right. In Daniel 7 and 25. Let's get this in the NLT. What would they do? He will defy the most high. Try to X out his son. And oppress the holy people of the most high. Who are the holy people of the most high? You Israelites. OK. He will try to change their sacred festivals and laws. He set up a system to where we can't have a connection with our power, but through the Holy Spirit, it's nothing he can do all right, about this great awakening. And they will be placed under his control for a time and times for in, in a, in a half a time. That was that 350 year period where we were just totally judged. But the Lord finally sent the Holy Spirit. All right. And we've escaped spiritually. All right. And the Lord is physically going to deliver us out of this place. All right. To those who keep the faith. So this 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 man, all right, this Edomite and those who join themselves into him. All right. Are going to what? Defy. What does the word defy mean? Scoff at basically undermine. OK, it's not that what we're seeing. We're seeing a, 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 this 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 system is defying the most high man and oppressing the holy people. That's what the, the, that's their claim to fame. OK, so in this, you know, aspect, they are anti Messiah. All right. But the way that these Christians talk about the Antichrist is just going to be one man that, that pops up. OK, and leads a rebellion against the most high. No, this is a system to openly resist or refuse to obey. To rebel, and that's what this whole system is based upon, rebellion against the Most High, disobeying the Most High, man. To be contrary to the Most High, that's what the word Satan means, all right? This is why in Second Thessalonians 2, it says, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth the prophets, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, man. And this is... This system is going to be one of those lying wonders, man. All right. And people are going to be captivated by it, man. As this man is getting ready to bring some craziness on the earth and he's going to offer this as a solution to safety. Revelation 13, verse 16 to 17. It also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads. So that they could not buy or sell unless they had the. No, it's in. See, they're reading a different uh, version where it says on. Now, the the ancient kingdoms of old, 
did use branding, which was on the outside of the skin. They did use tattoos, which was on the outside of the skin. But this is going to be a mark put in you. It's going to be a literal idol put in you. And see, this is going to give them power to know everything. This is why the book of Ezekiel 28 and 3 says, Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret they can hide from thee. Okay, he wants that God-like power. All right, as it uh, talks about in Sirach 42 and 19, he declared all the things that are past and for to come. And which Daniel was great at that. This is why in a mocking sense, the Lord is telling this Edomite, all right, which is likened unto the, the, the prince of Tyrus who got proud at that time because of the great riches and control he had. All right. He, he, he's, he's saying, basically, you become wiser than Daniel. Why? Because of the miracles and his technology where he can, uh, you know, foretell the future. OK. <laughs> he declared the things that are past, speaking of the most high and for to come and revealed the steps of hidden things. No thought escaping him. Neither any word is hidden from him. See. And this is the type of power that these devils are trying to uh, uh, get. This is why. OK. They are using lab grown brains that they have enslaved called. All right. Organoids to run computers because the brain itself is a computer. They're trying to tap into God like power through their technology, through their miracles, man. We're witnessing it. OK. They're trying to get control of what is. Okay. Because again, it says in Psalms, the second chapter. All right. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of themselves set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed, the Messiah. Right. And this world is anti to that. All right. More importantly, it's Esau, because biblically it would be Jacob versus Esau. That Those will be the two nations you would need to watch for. All right. Saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. See, and what is this? What does this mean? This system is ultimately going to do that for them. Let us break their chains. They cry and free ourselves from slavery to the most high. That's what they're doing. All right. They're trying to do away with the most High's narrative. All right. They're trying to X out his plan for his son to rule on the planet Earth. And this is why it says he that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. And they are in derision. They're not in control. But just as Pharaoh, the heavenly father, has hardened their hearts. Then shall he speak to them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. And he's doing that through his prophets. All right. Yet I have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. See, I will declare the decree. All right. Yahweh said unto me, thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So the heathen are like, hell no. OK. Hell no. All right. They're, they're contrary to that plan. They're saying, no, we're going to rule the earth and we're going to have you heathen, all right, as our inheritance. See, Psalms 83 and 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and against and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. The true Israelites. See. For they have consulted together with one consent. All right. One consent. They are confederate against thee. All right. And then it said the tabernacles of Edom, the Ishmaelites, the Moabites, the Hagarines, and all of these different nations are gathering together. All right. To set up this system. They're all in on it. But even in that, they don't agree. The mark, which is the name of the beast or the number of its name. Five things you need to know about the mark of the beast. Number one, allegiance. When the Antichrist is revealed to the world, he will enforce a system, a law, where you need to take some type of mark in order to participate in society. 
There's one school of thought that suggests the following. In order for us to really understand what the mark is and what it means, there is a need to look back in history. It is thought that at one time, Rome ordered all its citizens to pledge their allegiance to it, and this would be their political allegiance and also religious allegiance. As you pledged allegiance, this meant you accepted and submitted to Roman law, including the religious laws of that time. For you to pledge allegiance, it meant you were pledging your loyalty to Rome. Now with this thought, the mark of the beast will be a case of people pledging allegiance to the Antichrist. People will take the mark of the beast because at the You see, they have a barcode, but ultimately it's going to be inside of you. You will become the barcode. Okay? And again, in ancient societies, this is where you go to Revelation 13. And you look up the number of his name, Chi Psi Stigma. All right. Okay, stigma. All right, this is taking you into an ancient system. See, they're not doing things the ancient way. They, they've they been blessed with all kinds of technology. All right, stigma is what? A mark pricked or branded upon the body. All right, to ancient oriental usage of slaves and soldiers, soldiers bore the name or stamp of their master or commander branded a prick cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belong to. And there were even some devotees who stamped themselves in this way with the token to their God. So, yes, in ancient times, OK, you would get a brand, you would get a tattoo. OK, in this day and age, as knowledge has increased, it will be a physical idol all right, that will be put in you. That will be your way to show your alliance. That time, it will most likely be enforced by law. Although the message will be that you need the mark to buy or sell, you will in fact be pledging your allegiance to the Antichrist. And here's the proof. Revelation 14, verse 9 to 10 says, A third angel followed them and said in a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and its image and receives its mark on their forehead or on their hand, they too will drink the wine of God's fury, which has been poured full strength into the cup of his wrath. They will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb. Those who have the mark have submitted to the Antichrist and therefore rejected God, which in turn results in those individuals feeling the full force of God's wrath. Number two, the mark. No one knows exactly what form the mark of the beast will be. Well, we do know. Why do you think in Revelation, the 14th chapter, okay, there's a hardcore warning against it? See, he doesn't understand that in Revelation, the 14th chapter, this is the new song being sung by the 144,000, which that would be happening on the earth. See, the angel is speaking through the men of the Lord. So if they're telling you not to take, OK, the MOTB. They would have to be able to identify it. They're telling you with a loud voice. If any man worship the beast, we would have to be able to do identify the beast in his image. We'd have to be able to identify the, the, the image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same will drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high. So how can you sit there and say nobody knows what form? When the angel is speaking through these men singing the new song. OK, to tell you not to take it. And if you do take it, you're going to be destroyed. See, this is why persecution is coming. In verse 14, because in verse 12, because of this message, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments and the faith of Yahweh Shai, man. And see, some of us are even going to be beheaded for not taking it. So, yes, we will be able to identify it, man. Miss me with that, that, that garbage, man. However, many speculate that it could come. And so some people were saying it's this this juice, all right, which that just sets you up for what they're 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 gonna do. That's getting you prepared, okay, to have something in you in order to what operate on the planet Earth. Now I'm not gonna play the rest. I mean you could you could watch it, all right, but yes, they're gonna try to set up an idol in the temple, which the temple is the church. Okay? Now Let's see, there was this uh, particular video. Yeah, 
this particular article, which I'm not going to go too deep into it, but they're telling you that the juiced up corpse are emitting radio frequencies that trace back to this guy. Okay. So ultimately what they were, you know, what they were, you know, putting in you around 2020. All right. Had some type of technology in it. I'll just say that. So it was preparing you for what they wanted. All right. But that's not the M.O.T. to the B. Okay. Through faith, we believe that it is the the uh, the uh, Haragma. Okay, which is a, a a device. Okay, so why are all of these corpses, all right, emitting radio frequencies? Okay, because like we've been telling you, all right, there was something in that thing, man. Okay, and it was all what preparing you. To, to you know ultimately be received onto a grid and then we're going to complete it all right ultimately by this haragma all right and we've told you that they are what trying to transform humans into cyborgs globalist control freak gil bates has been working behind the scenes to computerize the human body without your consent for years now chilling discoveries regarding the state of the juiced corpses Reveal that something very serious changed after 2021. Okay? As he says, your body is a resource that belongs to science. Are the juiced already walking, talking human cyborgs? Fulfilling as yet unknown functions for the global elite before they uh, kneel and die at the flick of the switch. It may sound like science fiction, but when you see the stone cold evidence that we have coming up for you, what sounded like a, a horror movie will suddenly look like a living nightmare for the juiced. OK. Let's see here. So basically. In a nutshell, all of the people who took that. OK, who, who knows what the hell you walking around with inside of you, but. The, the bodies that are dying are, are it's all kind of frequencies, all right? Because basically they were making you an antenna to be received on this grid that they're creating. And it's all going to be complete, all right, by that charagma, all right? Which we believe through faith, which was been revealed unto us, that is the, the uh, C-hip. Okay? And all of the proof is in the pudding. OK. Now, some people are of the opinion that the juice was the uh, MOTB. All right. We don't believe that. But it's a part of that system that's going to lead you. All right. To, to taking that. Because eventually they'll say, well, instead of the juice, this will be the new way that, you know, it's emitted and this and that. OK. Yeah. They're, they're these things. All right. I ain't going to. Say it, all right, but nano things, okay? This is why we were telling you, Israelites, this this thing that they were forcing on you in 2020, it's not a regular, all right, VAX, all right? It's something that's dealing with changing the programming of your D to the N to the is A. So people are walking around through, all right? And the best is yet to come. We, we don't know what the hell is coming. But again, the fourth industrial revolution is to merge man with machine, with technology. That's industry 4.0. This is what they're talking about. Okay? This is their plan. This is why the scriptures say, never trust your enemy. OK. So this is where we are. And they're going to use A.I. All right. To help them establish it. The World Economic Forum has ordered infiltrated world governments to pass new laws that will ensure artificial intelligence will be used to destroy all freedoms and clamp down on anti-globalist dissent. According to Clash Schwartz's right-hand man, Yuval Noah Harari, 
The WF now commands the technology to become the worst totalitarian regime in history and completely eliminates every last human in the world who opposes the globalist agenda of the elite. As Harari explains, the elites will view the disposal of non-compliant humans in the same way they view recycling. It's ethical and vital for the survival of our planet. Before we dive in, subscribe to the People's Voice Rumble channel if you haven't already. Join the People's Voice Lab developed by WF scientists, which he warns has the power to destroy every human in the world by transforming them into transhuman entities. To completely destroy every last single human in the world, it is possible, given the technology that we now command, but it's, it's very difficult. Um, I think it's, there is a greater chance, and again, this is just speculation, mm -hmm. no, nobody really knows, but I, I think, I mean, lots of people could suffer terribly, but I think it's more likely that uh, uh, some people will survive and then will undergo radical changes. Mm. So it's not that humanity is completely destroyed, it's just transformed. Harari has made clear Transformed. Transhuman. The world to come won't have the humans of old, all right? It'll all be controlled by technology and you will merge, all right? You will have to what? And people like us, they don't plan on us being alive. But for those who comply, all right, and are, you know, able to make it into that world, you won't be considered a human anymore. Okay, your new God will be the, uh, you know, the clouds that, you know, store your data and all of this crap. Yeah, who will survive? The great depopulation event the elite have been warning us about for years. According to Harari, the global elite will survive, thanks to a technological Noah's Ark, while the rest of us will be left to perish. In this vastly... See, basically, this, this is just their left-hand version of the kingdom. You see? Like, we, we liken ourselves unto Noah and the remnant. Well, they are likening themselves. All right. And the Lord is going to give them bunkers to survive that destruction. But guess what? <laughs> you going into captivity out of those bunkers. All right. From hunk to punk. Depopulated world. The elite will be free to change themselves into transhuman entities and become the gods they already believe themselves to be. I think we are very near the kind of end of our species. It doesn't necessarily mean that we'll be destroyed in some huge nuclear war or something like that, uh, it could very well mean that we'll just change ourselves using uh, bioengineering <clears throat> and using AI and brain-computer interfaces. We will change ourselves to such an extent that we'll become something completely different. But first, the elite need to eliminate the non-compliant masses, those who are opposed to the anti-life and godless WF agenda. This is why... Okay, in Revelation, the 14th chapter, this message that we are, are, are preaching against this plan is going to, all right, that's why it says get this in the NLT. Like we're telling the, the, the you know, our people to fear Yahweh Bashim Shai, repent, judgment is coming. The plan of the, these, these people with this technology, we're, we're, we're openly saying all of this. And you also have particular people who don't believe in the truth, who have identified this as the MOTB system. So this is going to lead to what? A persecution against those who have this message. Even you so-called Christians who say you believe, all right, and that this is the anti-Messiah system and this and that, there's going to be persecution against you, all right? NLT says this means that God's holy people, because you have this message, this new song, must Endure persecution patiently, obeying his commands and maintaining their faith in Yahweh Shai. See, this is why the scriptures say the just shall live by faith. All right. And the Lord has already all right, foreordained those who are going to stand firm. OK, and this is why in the book of Revelation 20. All right. Which that Christian who came up the other day, uh, week said, basically, when the MOTB comes around, he won't be here because they're of the impression that. They will be, uh, uh, what's that word they use? Snatched out of here, basically. Um, I forget, I forget the word that they use. All right, where ultimately, you know, 
the the Lord is going to come get all the believers and at the time of tribulation and when the MOTB you know the rapture basically they'll be raptured out of here and then when the MOTB is uh presented they they won't have to be a part of it well right here Revelation 20 and 4, and I saw thrones and they that set up on them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah and for the word of the Most High that had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shah a thousand years. So right here shows you that even particular men of the Lord, all right, will be martyred, will have their heads chopped off for denying this technology. And as Harari boasts, the elite now command the AI technology to ethically destroy non-compliant humans by hijacking their brains. You could have an interbrain net, the same way that lots of computers are connected together to form the internet. If you can connect also brains and computers directly, why can't we then connect an interbrain net, which connects lots of brains? Disturbingly, Harari's claims are grounded in reality. And the WF is rolling out the mind control technology as we speak. Davos claims the tech can transform criminals, including those accused of thought crimes, into perfectly compliant globalist citizens who will never dissent again. Check this out. This is going to be the new prison. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Cognify, a facility designed to treat criminals like patients. Instead of spending years in an actual prison cell, prisoners could finish their sentence here in just a few minutes. Cognify could someday create and implant artificial memories directly into the prisoner's brain. These complex, vivid, and lifelike memories are created in real time using AI-generated content. Depending on the seriousness of the subject's crime and their sentence, the memories could be tailored to the rehabilitation needs of each subject. The artificial memories implanted by Cognify would be seamlessly incorporated into the existing neural networks of the brain, preventing cognitive dissonance. God damn. The subject experiences the memories as if they were real. The Cognify concept offers a new approach to criminal rehabilitation, transforming how society deals with offenders by focusing on rehabilitation rather than punishment. First. So instead of spending years in jail, just take, put the, get, you know, sign up for this, this brain technology, this charagma, all right, and we'll rehabilitate you. And by the time you come out of it, you won't even remember how bad of a person you were. Now you can freely roam the world. Yeah, right. All right. <laughs> They'll have the ability to, man, just, just imagine the type of power this, this technology is going to give them. This is not a game. This is real life situation this is where we are okay and then shall that wicked be revealed the prisoner is given a choice either spending tens of years in a prison cell or seeking fast-track rehabilitation through artificial memory implantation if the prisoner chooses to undergo fast-track rehabilitation the cognify device is used next the prisoner undergoes high resolution brain scanning to create a detailed map of their neural pathways this brain map helps guide the Cognify device to target specific brain regions responsible for memory, reasoning, and logical thinking, such as the hippocampus, prefrontal cortex, amygdala, parietal lobe, and anterior cingulate cortex. Once the target brain regions are identified, Cognify is then placed around the head of the prisoner. The intensity and the type of artificial memories is then adjusted depending on the crime. Inside the criminal's mind, time would pass differently, slower than in real life, making them experience years' worth of artificial memories in just a few minutes. Synthetic memories are customized depending on the crime committed and the unique brain structure and psychological profile of the individual. Clearly, the globalist elite have earmarked these times to usher in the long-threatened New World Order, with its false promise of godlessness, depopulation and eugenics. Wait till you see what Harari's threat to ethically destroy the human race actually looks like in reality. The globalists are trying to make us all poorer and destroy what's left of the economy. The Biden regime is following all of the WF diktats to the letter. They literally want you to own nothing and pretend to be happy. It's no joke. 
That's why I recently decided to put a lot of my own savings into precious metals, gold and silver. Odds and wield the power of creation and destruction over the human race. Yep, we are gods. This is what they're ultimately declaring, man. <laughs> and now they're making their move. According to the globalists, neurotransmitters and hormones will be induced to control the physical reality of those accused of thought crimes and dissent. Cognify emotion regulation system could modulate neurotransmitters and hormones to induce specific emotional states such as remorse or regret, which is crucial for rehabilitation. Real-time monitoring and feedback mechanisms could track the prisoner's neural responses throughout the process, allowing the system to adapt and optimize the rehabilitation in real time with new visuals, sensation, and realistic AI-generated content. Remember Harari's threat to connect the brains of non-compliant humans into one giant interbrain net, so the elite can better understand and control the minds of those who dissent. He wasn't exaggerating. This is exactly what they're planning to do. To ensure the long-term effect of the therapy session, the memories could become permanent, fully integrated into the subjects. Yo, this is madness, man. This is madness. And we're here. All right. And we warned you all of it. And you all mocked and laughed as if it was just a, a joke. There was another video I had. You know, but maybe in another one. But, um. Let's see here. Yeah, this is that video if you want to see it. It's called The Prison of the Future, Cognify. And we know cogn cog cognitive, you know, Tiv is dealing with your with your brain. Okay? But there was another one. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it right here. I've already got it. I've been using the eye tracking feature where instead of like using your fingers like a commoner to use your phone, you just use your eyeballs. Hang on, what? What's going on? You just look this at the is phone. like having a chip in your head. Here we go, I'm looking. Well, what are you doing? Oh yeah, but hang on, it's, it's calibrated to my eyes. Oh, oh, that, and then sorry, what, okay, so it's highlighting the app and not opening it, then how do you open it? <gasps> what did you do to do that? You blinked. You blinked. That's insane. Did anyone ever think that was coming so soon? All right. One. Okay, and this is off of uh, GMS Universal 2, all right? Um, he's going into this new technology. Apple announces new accessibility feature, including eye tracking, all right, music, haptics, and vocal shortcuts. So again, he's going to deceive many of the people by these miracles. He's boasting and, and, and taking the, the, the place of the most high all right. And many, many more things, man. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to end this here. Um, let's get Revelation 13, though, because, again, this is that system. OK, and he's going to deceive Re Revelation 13 and 14, them that dwell on our earth by means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of this beast system. OK. And here we are. This is crazy. It's mind, as if they were part of their own personal experiences. While subjects are undergoing therapy session, valuable data are collected from all the prisoners into a central computer for scientific research, which will help understand the criminal mind and determine the best approach to tackle crimes in society. AI-driven analytics could enhance the device's functionality, optimizing future procedures based on gathered data and insights. Cognify could feature encrypted storage for sensitive prisoner information and rehabilitation data. A con ...beings can of course be used for good purposes, like providing much better healthcare. The globalists have already hacked the human body to provide so-called healthcare with the mass rollout of the... ...more accurately described as gene editing therapy. Make no mistake. The elites have no respect for humanity, and they're not finished hacking the human body. According to Harari, it will be the defining equation of life in the 21st century. Which I think might be the defining equation of life in the 21st century. B times C times D equals R. Which means biological knowledge multiplied by computing power multiplied by data equals the ability to hack humans. R. 
If you know enough biology and you have enough computing power and data, you can hack my body and my brain and my life, and you can understand me better than I understand myself. You can know my personality type, my political views, my sexual preferences, my mental weaknesses, my deepest fears and hopes. Right. This is going to be that new digital system, that MOTB system. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Talk about I will be like the most high. If this is not a fulfillment of that, I don't know what is. Shalom.